Do you want to set up redirects for form submission? Just do you use WordPress forms and want to redirect users to another page, such as a thank you page, after they submit a form? WordPress users are free to choose from a variety of form plugins, and they can use the one that best meets their requirements. But whatever form plugin you choose, you would want to redirect users after the form is submitted. You could wish to simply redirect users to a thank you page by opening a new tab. You might need to give the data from form fields as URL query parameters to the redirected page. You would also need to redirect users to any WordPress blog posts, WooCommerce product pages or to any custom post type pages. Alternatively, you may choose to redirect users to an external URL, that is another website. To do these types of redirects after form submission, you would need a WordPress form redirect plugin. In this video, we will use Tablesum, a WordPress form automation plugin that comes with powerful form redirection features. Tablesome can be integrated with popular WordPress form plugins such as Contact Form 7, WP Forms, Gravity Forms, Elementor Forms, Fluent Forms, Forminator and many more. So even if you're using different form plugins, you can set up and manage redirects easily from Tablesome. Tablesome also comes with other form automation features such as saving form entries, automatically export form submissions to external sources such as MailChimp, HubSpot, and more. Do check out Tablesome from the link provided in the video description. Let's see how to set up form redirection with Tablesome. First, we will see Contact Form 7 redirection. Here, we have a WordPress site with Contact Form 7 plugin installed, and we have created a sample contact form, and added it to a WordPress page. We also have set up a thank you page, to which we want to redirect users after form submission. We also have Tablesome plugin installed on this site, which we will use to set up the form redirection. Under Tablesome, click Create New Table, to create a new form workflow. Give this workflow a suitable title. Tablesome uses triggers and actions to perform automated actions. Triggers are what starts an event, and actions are the events to be performed. Under the Workflows section, go to Trigger 1. You will have a list of all the Tablesome triggers available. You can see that all the form integrations available are listed here. Choose the form plugin that you use. Here, we will select the contact form 7 on form submit trigger now. Below you will find a list of all the forms that you have created. Select the form that you want to set up redirection. Then, under the action 1 section you could find a list of all actions available with Tablesome. Here, select the redirection action. Then you could choose to redirect to a custom URL, which includes redirecting to even external sites or you could choose to redirect to internal pages or posts. When redirecting within your WordPress site, you can choose to redirect to WordPress pages, blog posts, WooCommerce products or to any custom post types. We will select the thank you page that we had set up earlier. We can also choose to open the redirected page in a new tab. Below you have the option that passes the form data as URL query parameters. We will see how to use this next. For now, we will save this workflow and see how the redirection that we set up works. Let's send a test form submission. We were successfully redirected to a thank you page on a new tab after form submission. Now, let's try redirecting users to a WordPress blog post. We will also pass the form fields data as URL query parameters, and display the form fields data on the page. We will select the post type as posts and choose a blog post that we had set up earlier. Then we'll go over the URL parameters section. Here we can opt to totally enable or stop passing data on URL query parameters or you can selectively enable passing the data for selected fields. 
Below you can find the shortcode that lets us display the data that are passed on to the URL. You have two options, you can display all the data that are passed on URL's parameters or you can display only selected data from the URL parameters. We will copy this shortcode, and see how we can add it to the redirect WordPress page. Let's go to the WordPress blog post that we want to redirect. Here we will add the shortcode to display all of the past URL query parameters. Below we have added the shortcode to display selected data in combination with the custom text message. To do this we have to add the respective alias to the shortcode. After adding the shortcode, let's save this post and also save the workflow and then try submitting the form. We were successfully redirected to the blog post that we have set up. We can see that the short codes we have posted are working and it displays all the form fields data that were passed on the URL query parameters. We could also redirect users to custom post type posts and WooCommerce product pages. We were successfully redirected to the WooCommerce product page that we had chosen. We could also redirect users to any custom URLs, that is you can redirect to external sites. We were successfully redirected to the external URL that we have chosen. Not just contact Form 7 plugin, we can also integrate Tablesum with Elementor Forms and other form plugins. Here, we have set up a sample contact form in the Elementor page. Let's set up a redirection workflow in Tablesum for this Elementor form. Give the workflow a suitable title, and select the Elementor on Form Submit trigger. Select the redirection action, select the post type, and then choose the page to which you want to redirect users. Then you can also enable, or stop passing data on URL query parameters, which we see in detail a little later. Let's save the workflow, and test how the Elementor form redirection that we have set up works. We have successfully redirected the Elementor form to a thank you page. Now, let's see how to pass the form data to the redirected URL query parameters. Here, you can enable all of the form fields, or enable only the selected form fields to be passed on the redirected URL. You have to copy the URL parameter shortcode, and paste it on the page where you want to redirect. In this page, 
we will post the shortcode that will display all of the enabled form fields that are passed on the URL query parameters. If you want to display selected fields data along with custom texts, you can make use of the second shortcode that is provided in the URL parameters section. You can add the shortcode and change the alias of the form field that you want to display. Let's save this redirection workflow and test if the data is being passed on the URL. We were successfully redirected to the blog post that we had set and the shortcodes we had added displayed the form data passed on the URL query parameters. You can also redirect Elementor form submitters to an external URL using the custom URL option. Tablesome also integrates with WP Forms plugin, and you can set up redirection for WP Forms. We have created a contact form with WP Forms, and we will redirect users to a thank you page and to an external site. We can make use of the WP Forms on Forms Submit trigger, and then use the redirection action. Tablesum also integrates with the Fluent Forms plugin, and you can set up redirection for Fluent Forms. Here we have set up a contact form with Fluent Forms. We will redirect users after they submit the Fluent Forms form to a thank you page, and then pass the form fields data on URL query parameter on redirection. We can make use of the Fluent Forms on Forms Submit trigger, and then use the redirection action, and then select the page where we want to redirect users.
You can also pass the form fields data on the URL query parameters, and use shortcodes on the redirect page to display the form fields data. You also use Tablesome to automate Forminator Forms plugin, and you can set up redirection for Forminator Forms. Here we have set up a contact form with Forminator Forms. We will redirect users after they submit the Forminator Forms form to a thank you page, and then pass the form fields data on URL query parameter on redirection. You can also redirect users to an external URL. Like and share this video. Subscribe to this channel to get more videos.